weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Jerry, and I'd like to talk to you about God. You see, when I was in school, like you, we used to talk about God. As a matter of fact, before the school day would begin, we would pray and talk to God. The Bible says we were born with a black heart. The reason for that is because the black heart represents our sinful nature. Adam and Eve, our first parents, gave that as their inheritance to us when they fell away from God in the garden. But I'd like to point out a couple ways that God has spoken to us in the world around us. Can you see this first picture on the top of this canvas, kind of small? Anybody recognize that? Can you tell what that is? What is it there, partner? What is it? It's an eyeball. How many eyeballs do we have? Three? Two eyeballs, don't we? Would anybody sell your eyes for a million dollars? No, our eyes are precious, aren't they? Much like our soul. And God has made the eye very precious that we see his handiwork. You know, they can detect 10 million colors. Your eyes can see that. Motion and depth and distance, shape. Translate this information in a fraction of a second. The eyeball screams of an incredible designer of great power, of great wisdom. The incredible complexity and order in the brain in the eye could never happen by chance. It could not happen by evolution. God had to create it. We need to have another kind of heart. And let me show that to you right now. We need a white heart. The Bible says that we need a white heart. It says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That's what our Lord said. It says in the Bible, to come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, that's very red, they shall be as wool. But how does one have a new heart? And what about this? What about this object here? What's that? A yellow brain. A yellow brain. Yeah, I'd say pretty yellow, and it is a brain, a human brain. You know what? The most complex structure in the universe. A hundred trillion connections in the human brain. It, it uh, coordinates our breathing, our digestion. All of the facets of your body are controlled by the human brain, and it's far more complex than our space shuttle or even a supercomputer. It could never happen by random chance, mistakes, evolution. It had to be designed by an incredible almighty God and it points to God. But this is the, the blood of the cross representing our Lord Jesus perfect sacrifice as our sinless substitute because you know we need a substitute before God. We need someone to take our sin in our place and the death that sin requires because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And there's a hundred billion more galaxies just like this. Can you imagine that? The Bible says the heavens declare the glory and the majesty and the power and the omnipotence of Almighty God and it says that God calls all these stars by name and he directs their paths i think if we're honest and we consider what god has revealed within our spirit within our conscience and within creation we could only come to one conclusion in the beginning god before anything was god was as a matter of fact that's the very first verse of the bible genesis 1 1 in the beginning was god God created the heavens and the earth. But folks, something happened. Something happened to our universe. Something terrible happened in our universe. It's called sin. 
You and I have sinned against a holy God. We've offended God. And what is sin? Sin is to break the commandments of God, to disobey God, to offend God, and we've done that. When Jesus rose from the dead, he left that empty tomb. And he rose triumphantly over the grave like the sun that comes up every morning. In fact, there's a verse in the Bible that talks about how Jesus is the son of righteousness and rises with healing in his wings. And so, you may have the smile of God once again by believing on Jesus Christ and repenting of all your sins. It took punishment. This Jesus was punished on the cross. The wrath of the Father for sin and sinners was turned from sinners like me and placed on Jesus, on the substitute, on the cross. He bore my sins in full. He paid the debt in full. He died and he didn't stay in the grave. He rose triumphantly from the dead. He's alive today. And he says that if you trust in him, if you believe in him, not from the head, but from the heart, a transformation takes place in the heart. The Bible calls it being born again. A new heart, a new nature. We're in a new creature in Christ. God does an amazing work. He forgives our sins. He declares us righteous. We're clean before a holy God. And you know what? Now we have an intimate fellowship with the Creator. We can know Him and pray to Him and delight into Him and worship Him and praise Him and to live for Him. That's the reason that God created man is that we would desire Him and delight in Him for all eternity.